All right, so here's the deal. We've got five grand and we're doing a build off against Bleepin' Jeep. Wait savings. For the record, I've built zero Cherokees in my life. One JK, one Toyota, and a Razor or two or three or four. Oh, oh. Bang for the buck, Jeep Speed. Bang for the buck, Jeep Beach. Hammer down. Family friendly. Family friendly. YouTube monetization friendly trash talk. One minute. That never should have happened. I'm no. not sure what happened. And then one full bore, full scent lap. See who's back. Modified rules. Why would we modify them? Because I couldn't reach the pedal on the passenger seat. <laughs> Action! So today we are on our way to pick up the next project vehicle for Knucklehead Garage. And you guys, I think you're gonna like this one. As you can tell we're here at pull apart right in birmingham and a lot of people don't realize that pull apart they actually sell used cars so they have a bunch of cars that are around two thousand dollar range and when it came to this project we're about to start on it had to be i had a fifteen hundred or two thousand dollar budget to find the perfect jeep all right here it is 1997 jeep cherokee with a 4.0 this is a sport so it doesn't have a lot of the crazy chrome or electrical windows or anything like that so mostly manual stuff the thing is uh pretty mint inside not so bad let me show you why i picked out this jeep and why i wanted a 97 to 99. this right here was the main reason this is a chrysler nine and a quarter rear end and this thing right here is why i chose a 97 to 99 jeep and that means we don't have the Dana 35 or whatever is in the back there, notoriously crap and junk on these. And you also want to look for rust in these two. This one doesn't seem too bad. For the most part, we're going to change most everything in this anyway. So we should be in good shape. So, but one big thing is you make sure these rockers are in good shape and these seem to be. So the other thing about a 97 to 99 and why you don't want one of the last two year models of these is this right here dana 30 front end but high pinion so you definitely want a high pinion this is a budget build so you want to make sure we got the high pinion so we can work with that and not have to swap axles let's see what this thing sounds like first seems to be running like a top no problem got a little bit of oil leakage here and there but that's pretty much par for the course for something with 150,000 miles Let's go see how this thing drives. I, I just had a lady that's a, uh, a postal lady uh, came up to me and she was like, is this one for sale? You know what you're asking for? And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. This Cherokee right here is mine. I ran it through all the gears. Seems like overdrive's fine in this one. Uh, a lot of people with Cherokees have issue. Um, Off-road action here. Man, suspension, everything seems to be good. Make sure we got full wheel drive and everything here. Put it in four low. Oh yeah. Full wheel drives working. No problem. It's, this thing shifts amazing to be a 97. It's 2020. That's an old vehicle. But uh, yeah, this thing seems to be good to go. Well, it's that easy, folks. If you're looking for a project vehicle, you can just head down to your local pick, pull apart, 
and pick one out. You might not look at as much speed, but so I'm at the shop and uh, I can fill you on the details on what this competition's about, what our budget is, and what we plan to do with this little Cherokee. All right, so here's the deal. We've got five grand and we're doing a build off against Bleepin' Jeep. We got five grand, we've already spent two grand on the Cherokee, but first we've got a $500 safety budget. So we're gonna go seat, harnesses, and lighten this thing up. Maybe do a little bit of a roll cage, just keep everything safe. And then we're gonna race against Bleepin' Jeep, stock versus stock right here down the road at Sunny and Lonesome. And uh, he's got a ZJ, which got, might have a little bit better suspension, but it's not gonna be as light as this. Basically the same motor. So I think we got an edge other than our bald tires. So time to light this thing up, get that seat out. That's not safe at all. <laughs> gonna get everything sprayed down with some W40 rust release penetrant. <sighs> Make it all a little easier to get out. Now, if you've seen me and Bloopum Jeep compete before, we can be slightly competitive. Yeah! So, we definitely want to step up our safety game for this one, and that's why we're doing better seats, because while the stock Cherokee seats aren't bad, a nice, uh, you know, better seat with some harnesses attached to it that go th through the headrest. It's definitely gonna keep me in, in here a little better when I'm sending this thing off of a jump and trying to go for the win. All right, so part of this is we gotta stick strictly to our budget. We can't have sponsored parts and everything we sell off the Cherokee or off of our build, uh, we get to add to the budget. So I found about three cents while taking this uh, seat out. So make that $5,000 and three cents. Now this might seem kind of janky, but we're on a budget, so I don't care. How about a razor seat? We got this one, came on a four seater. Nobody ever rides with me, so it doesn't really matter. And it's already got holes in it for harnesses and definitely is better than a stock Cherokee seat. So I think this might just work. Bleepin's probably not gonna feel like this is part of the rules, but I think it should work. What's, what's a razor seat worth, 50 bucks? And I got some sweet used PRP harnesses for cheap. Can't be that for the win with the budget. All right, we are up 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 more cents added to the budget. Donut, $20. Wait savings. Okay, now that we got everything gutted out of here, next step is doing a roll cage. Now we were gonna rip the carpet all the way out of here, but the carpet adds a lot of sound deadening and I don't really wanna listen to all the rattles and stuff on the trail. So for now, we'll keep the carpet, we'll just roll it out of the way. And next stop, roll cage time. We're gonna do a simple one tube all the way over and across, right behind the seat and then two kickers going down to the fender wells. That should be, I mean, that's not like race cage, but that should be good enough for what we wanna do. Have a nice little crossbar for harnesses and uh, should protect us just fine in case we roll over. Probably bare minimum, but should work fine. So Bleepin' Jeep made it very clear that I could not use Jake Berkey because he's a professional, but he didn't say anything about using Wes. That's just Wes, just my buddy, he's just helping. I don't think Bleepin's got a plasma table either. But he does have vast Jeep knowledge, so we gotta, gotta even it out somehow. For the record, I've built zero Cherokees in my life. One JK, one Toyota, and a Razor or two or three or four. So, Bleepin's probably done like 10 Cherokees at least at this point. So, we gotta make it fair everywhere we can.
All right, so we got our sandwich plates in. They are nice and tightened into the unibody structure. We even did bolt up. That way, got a little extra clearance for when we come in here and do some sliders or something later on. And now, it's finally time to bend some tubing together. Tubes. So we like to keep some pre-bent tubes in the shop so that way we can get kind of a template and an idea of what we need to do, so. You know how to use that? Oh, hell yeah. See, Jake's back over there, he's not helping. So it's Tuesday night, we still have Wednesday night to work on it, and then Thursday morning, we're racing this thing. The good news is we got our main bar in, it's tacked in place where it needs to be, Plates are all good. It's gonna work out great. So now we're gonna do the harness bar right behind the seats and two kickers down and we'll be done with the fab work. Thank goodness. Wes is doing the welding. Now, if it was something not important to safety, I wouldn't mind welding it. I'm not a professional welder. Wes is a damn good welder, so I'm gonna let him do the stuff that is for safety. She's burning in there good. I'm going to stand out here and be fire watch, just in case. Good penetration, Wesley. Yeah. Nice. Alright folks, it is officially 11 o'clock at night. We race tomorrow. We start at 10 o'clock in the morning and we have seat in, harnesses in, and cage done and painted. Got the carpet back in place. So, got a few more things. Bleeping is here. So, we're ready to race. Um, I'm doing a few more little safety things. Add a fire extinguisher, put in a passenger seat because he says we have something that we're gonna need a passenger to be able to ride with us. So that should be interesting. And uh, yeah, but we really did nothing to this other than safety mods and ready to, ready to freaking see what it'll do stock. I had so much fun when we went and wheeled the crap out of the JK bump stock. So I can't wait to see what this character did on ball tires. So game on. So Bleepin just unloaded his off the trailer and we've already had our first carnage. Hold on, don't start up. Oh! Hold on, Mike. Let me show you something. This is clean. Did you drive it after you changed the oil? Nah, we don't do things like that. Did you change the oil in yours? I, I is that part it, of safety? I looked at it right after I got it on the trailer. It was nasty. <laughs> this is uh, this is not the right filter. Oh. Because the threads are. Why was it not Wobbly. leaking on the trailer though? Well, it may just have gotten loose. You got a rag? So, believe them put on the wrong oil filter, so it just leaked all over the parking lot. You can kind of see where the problem started. So we had to go in and get really expensive oil from the shop and, uh, and, and fill her back up. So maybe- It's we, Mobile One. Very expensive. He's, he just blew his budget. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for tonight's event. And that's good. Well, that's good. Okay. Yeah, they bumped it. Perfect. They just touched the bumpers. But we gotta be able to pop the hood. That was bad. Pull the airbag fuse. It doesn't tell me which one's which, so you guys are gonna have to Google it. We'll start on uh, this mat. You want to pop your hood, sir? Yes, And then sir. come up here. We're gonna ask you a couple questions about this Jeep. Okay. All right. What kind of oil filters on this Jeep? Uh, apparently an LS oil filter. <laughs> okay. Oh, LS. Right. High so, performance. So tell us about tell us about your Jeep. What is this? This is a 4.0 straight six Grand Cherokee 1998 uh, automatic transmission and AW4. What, and this makes it a, a W or Z? J? ZJ. Z or as we would say in right Canada, there. ZJ. There we go. So ZJ. I All see right. it. I do so, see. So stock, stock, no change. What what have you done? What did you do to it? Everything is stock except for the racing seat, which is a safety item. Safety item. Roll cage. 
but the racing seat was $110, so we were working on a $500 budget. For safety? For safety. Okay. And you can't put that money back in, so that was $110 on Amazon. Mm. I got about $100 in metal for the roll bar. And what else? Are, uh, are these clothes harness. hangers? Are it's these are these stuff. clothes hangers stock holding the battery down? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that would go under build quality. Yes. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just jumped the gun. Did we fab work? No, I got yeah. We're still works. Do overall That's build. interesting. Still work. Yeah. That's a plus one for that sure. Is, what? That is pretty good. And Stop you said cold AC. Cold AC. Turn on. I want I want to see one. the compressor click on here. <laughs> it's got uh, automatic windows, electric windows, door locks. Boy. Is he on right now? There we go. Oh, the click. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look at this. You still got all the seats. Ooh. Carpeting, nice. Headliner. Oh, yeah. headliner. Did you remove the radio for weight? Sunroof? Okay. Oh, uh, does the sunroof work? Yes, it does. Open up the open up the sunroof. We gotta see this. Oh, oh no, no, that's, that's, oh, that's gonna nice. be a plus one. That's nice. That is good. That is a plus one. You Headliner's a little check dirty. Check out the seat. This is a little yeah, this this is looking pretty slow. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Oh yeah, my just, goodness, are we the racing the seat. I, I'm doing it with Roman numerals. Yeah. He read power seat. Factory power seat. Whoa, 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 factory oh, power seat. Oh my gosh. No, that's stocking. Stop sounds really safe. I like how. What about the? I don't know if that's safe. What about the squeak? Do I have to set the point off because when you do your seat, the AC squeaks? <laughs> hey, that's not my that's 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 door open. Wait, 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 wait. There you Ooh. go. That's fine. Right. Okay, that's it. That's. Oh, you locked. You no, it is unlocked. Power door locks work. So so far. Full rear seat. Everything is. This is pretty stockish. Function. Hey, if I find any on, more thing, if I find anything else right with this, he I'm still make has it before you tear it up. Spare tire. Well, and as any Jeep owner owner would know, the fact that this stays up by itself, that's, that's, that's a big deal. That would technically be aftermarket though, I think. <laughs> as a Toyota owner, as a Toyota owner, the thing that I like most about Jeeps is eight out of ten are still on the road today. The other two made it home. <laughs> Look, he's still got the. Right, this is this is. I'm I'm gonna give you a nine out of ten for stockness. Uh, let's factory what? jack. Oh, it's got to be there if it's got the top. It's bare. Where is the factory? Should be underneath the, the seat, maybe. Uh, we got an amp. Whoa! Are you telling me the bungees are actually still good? Still bungee. Holy crap! Factory jack. Boys. Factory Jack. Hey, can I get a uh, Factory Jack? All right. Hey, can I? I I've been I've been watching these windshield wipers. Can I get a Can I get a windshield wiper check on them? Oh, for sure. Oh! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, that's plus one. All right, can, is that's there any way you can stop that fluid? Okay. Yeah. So I'm really gonna pull the views. Right I think here. you're losing thus far. We hadn't even got to yours yet. Yeah. Your editor is gonna be working hard on yeah. that. Can you stop it? All right, so you have a few thousand dollar budget to buy the vehicle that you're gonna be able to get a better ZJ. So now than let's XJ. go. Let's look XJs at the XJ are a little more desirable. So wow. I didn't get power and everything, okay, but so. the, the performance is gonna be the, the difference today. That's all right. All right. All right. Let's check out Busted. Let's check out nice, Busted Duckle. Nice. All right, so Matt. What is this? This is a what? This is a 1997 Jeep Cherokee XJ with the 4 liter. 97 is the year that came with the high pinion 30 front and you could find them with the 8 and a quarter rear. That's what this one has why I chose it. I like that. Oh, so you did some like thinking in A on little this. bit of thinking and I didn't do anything to this other than safety mods. I didn't even change the oil. Probably That's the oil the that came We've with it. proven that that can be an issue. That's the oil that came with it. So. All right. And what was your purchase price on this guy? $2,000. Oh, 2000. and this one was how much? $19.95. Oops, Ooh. that's a wash. Ooh. Okay. That's a wash. So let's see here. Let's check out the And we know that here. because it says. So, <laughs> it says clearly Right there on the windshield, it says. It's got full carpet. It's got $5 worth of Oh, he also it. mounted the seat to the original track. Yeah, you can slide it forward. So it, it is still stockish seat. Okay. Yep. It's got the usual Cherokee wear spots. You know, it's worn out there. still got, yep. Oh, horn still works. Oh, the horn blows. Headliner was removed to put the long cage in, though, right? Race uh, 
So I'm not gonna take yeah. points okay. off. I, yeah, no, I can't. That's, fair. that's legit. That's fair. I can't take points off or add. Not power windows, but still has. Do all they work? Yeah, they fucking work. Okay, that's fine. The and then rattling down in there. Power mirrors are working. All right, that's all good. Got. The rear seat was removed because of safety. Yeah, okay. we couldn't. We we wanted to do a legit roll cage, so oh, we actually have kickers that come down from the yeah, cage it. to the back. It does so. have, and it's got a good belt bar at the right right spot. Yeah. All right, so we have to overlook that as well. <laughs> it's still pretty stock too. I did the uh, I did the spare tire delete for safety. I didn't want that thing bouncing safety, around okay. and hitting me spare in the back of the head while we're racing. Safety. That's. That's fun. That's a blurry gray area. That is kind of gray. That's gray area. area. <laughs> but it's pretty darn stock. That is uh, that is some politician stuff right there. Hold on, I'm adding another category. <laughs> All the leaves and stuff yeah. in there that came with it. Honestly, the fact, it. the fact that the struts do not work makes stock. it more stock. Right. Well, yeah, they, they yeah, came with. They yeah, because you you obviously had aftermarket this is struts. Yeah. This is aftermarket. It did, it did come with it, a that's the way it came. prop rod. Yeah. Okay. I, so I believe it comes from the factory came with that wood stand. Honestly, the the functioning features might have actually hurt because they've had to be repaired. Yeah, it's obviously been fixed up a lot. So, all right, so well, where, where, was, where yeah. are you at on stockness on this one? All right, I've only done the one. Well, I'm not doing really. check marks. I'm do, this is going to be full figure skate judging. In my opinion. Okay, all right. I got uh, you. Let's see the wipers. I want to see the wipers. Can I see the headlights I'm not really sure and tail lights? Light. What about your blinkers? Do they work? How's your ABS <laughs> marking? Non-existent. Well, see the thing. Maybe yes, what's that? Up, but you brought up a very good point. Can you, the fact that some of the things on the uh -oh. XJ don't work yeah. make it more stock. Right, it makes that it more stock. True. Put it in reverse. Watch. That one's out. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, see. That's but you totally. see that? But that's but that but that's this the one's point. ready to carry mail. That yeah, but see that's Ricky's this one's totally, point. It's, it's almost more stock because right. that's what would be wrong with. That's it. right. This one's yeah. ready to start being used by the USPS. It's a it's a tough scenario, really. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna only gonna take 0.5 off because of the, because of the some mods on it. But okay, so now let's do, uh, let's do fab work. So we'll stick with the busted knuckle. You built this cage yourself, you said? Yes, sir. No help from Jake Berkey. Fab work. You have to state your name, say that on camera. No help from no Jake. No help Berkey. from Jake Berkey. That okay. was, that was part of the rules. You heard it. I like the, uh, the tiny tube. Mm. It's le it's legit because it's, know, those it's lightweight. Those wells look pretty good. Those wells do look good. Are we sure Jack Murphy didn't do that? Who welded this? That'll be Wes the welder. Okay. Right, oh, so Wes you, welded. You well, okay. The welding, but well, I did farm out the welding because I'm not a fabricator. I'm a cameraman, and I figured safety was the time where you had to have somebody else. Well, do the welding. per That's the legit, rules, Wes is I mean, not named it's, Jake. It's Correct. It's got a good. There's no. <laughs> Your we'll friends can't help you in the build as long as yeah. the name is Considering the only fab we're judging here is the roll cage. But what about the, did you spray paint the wheels? No. Nope. As long as your name's not Jake Berkey or Ian Johnson. I think those are the original tires that came on the Cherokee. That's why they're so bald. Huh. I'm also think, quite impressed well, by they don't the match. capacity here. Seeing as it's halfway up the dipstick. Well, you put extra in because the extra in there. you might need more. Yeah, that's share good. Them later. Can that, uh, can that, can that um, um, oak hood prop is that classified as fab work too? No, because no. it came with it. It came with it, yeah. Oh, it came with it. So the it only fab it. work we're really marking here is the cage. So yep. okay. yeah. this cage. So Battery I tied down. That's good. Right. I like how you've, you've got kind of you know, 40 in the back, but this one's up front on the tires. So, Bleepy, you built this cage yourself, Bleepy? Yes, sir. Bleepy, that's... Now explain explain the situation we've got here. What as, happened as a, here, Bleepy? As a fabricator, and what happened here? here? Is this a slug, Bleepy? No, I, oh. I, I I bent it to match the uh, the roof line. How many times did you bend it? Did you bend it with what, a What did you bend it with? Or? A poop piper? Uh, I bent it uh, maybe twice. With oh. what? With a, a bender. Do you think that's a strong part of the cage there? What or? kind of bender did you use to? That's one of those Harbor Freight teeth like, Oh my God! What is that for knuckles? Is that for grabbing it? Yeah. That's one of those. What did you do here, Bleepy? Sure. This is. Just... I bent it a little too far the first time. I had to unbend it. Ah. So uh, let me ask you a question on that spray paint right there above the head. Uh, uh -huh. Is that you didn't yeah. prep it or what? I, I that's, don't. That's some poor prep right there. No, okay. Yeah. I will give you this. You do have the belt bar at the right height, so the same as Matt. But I think a bend would have been better to give you more uh, more leg room up front there, more room for the. And then I'm not a fan of the no kicker. 
I'm not a fan of the no kicker. I, I have it tied in. I see I that. I do I, like the tie into the factory B pillar. Well, okay. I, I like the tie so. into the factory B pillar, but you've got it in a single shear bolt location into a unibody structure, which I think you should have tied it in there and done kickers. It's just roll it. bar. That's what that's what the the rule requires. This is what they require. require. Okay. A roll bar. Race shock for yes. a rice roll bar. Just maybe. all by itself. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'm, I mean, it, it, it's. Hey. I feel as long like as it'll save your it life, right? It fulfills its need. It does fulfill its it need. It just needs to work once. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're done with we're done with fab work. All right. Now let's go to overall looks. I do like. I like. I'll give you this. I do like the red, with the red seat, with the red roll bar. Style points, man. I got like I gotta give you that, Matt. You, you know what? When I look at that seat, I only think of one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's a negative one. All right, so back. <laughs> How do you not know the theme song that Tokyo Drift? I don't drift. All, all right, right, so looks. looks. I, I, this is good. I mean, the red, the red, the red, the red. It's all red. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's got factory like the mud flaps. Bang for buck. My only question: Did this Jeep not come at one point in time with a factory V8? Uh, 5.2. Why did you not find one with a factory V8? It was in the rule book. We wanted to be an even match. Oh, then I won't deduct points for that. That was my because I, I was going to say bang for the buck. I would have went for the V8, but you couldn't do it, huh? Mm -hmm. Makes sense. That seems legit. Okay, but I mean, for 1995, you got electric power windows, cold AC. Yeah, bang for the buck's pretty high on this one. I'm going to go high on this one. But it's but not this a one, uh, what was the other one? Good. An Orvis. Wait, see, this one gets good bang Orvis for the buck because edition. Matt did the. Hot factory high pinion, got the good rear end. See, that's, that's so the that's, that's good bang this for is, the buck. This is bang for the buck creature comfort. That's bang for the buck Jeep Beach. That's bang for the buck Moab. <laughs> bang for the buck Jeep Speed. Bang for the buck Jeep Speed. Bang for the buck Jeep Beach. Ah. But even, I'm not going to deduct points. Okay, okay, now this is going to hurt you. This is going to hurt you. And I don't mean to be mean, I'm just being honest. Reliability. Ooh. We did see the oil. Oh, oh. already had an incident. Yeah, the oil mm. filter incident's gonna cost you a couple points there. Not a lot, just a couple. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. We have this one that we added. The judges added one, one. Since you're both YouTubers, it's your full-time job. What type of camera, YouTube equipment did you bring to capture today's event? I brought a bunch of GoPros. A legit video camera. Yeah, this is the same yeah. camera that does all the busted knuckle. All the busted knuckle stuff. All right, and yeah. you've got how many GoPros? Uh, three. Three. Okay, three. Yeah. Matt, I have two GoPros. Two. A phone. Yeah. Two phones. Another GoPro and a DSLR Canon D77. Where is? It? Are you gonna be? Where, when, why is it being filmed is, right are now? Are you just? Are you just gonna show it, or are you, are you gonna, gonna use it? Are we just gonna talk about it, or are we yeah, gonna use what, it? Is it? Is actually gonna be used to videotape today? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. So now we're, that, pre we're prematurely judging, Matt. Do do, now, does your DLSR also have a squirrel on the top of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's got, 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 got the fuzzy. Dead fuzzy cat. Dead cat. Yeah. Dead if cat. you don't have the squirrel, then it's just right. you're, you're not right. doing so it. Right. So, but you, I'm gonna give you. Uh, we're gonna give you both. I'm gonna give you even points across the board on that, unless I don't see that DSLR being I might, used. Yeah, I might. Then I'm gonna. Then I'm gonna chop that down. Yeah. So you just got our next shot. So. I wonder if they're. I wonder if they're gonna judge the camera men. No, that's no, what I'm no, saying. No. Don't judge us on beard though, because I've lost that. Mm. It's my so I'll, I'll put beard. a timer on. You'll have one minute of straight up. Who's going first? Now, I think we should set some ground rules for the trash talk since it is the Jeep challenge. And it has to be monetizable friendly. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna keep it family friendly. <laughs> family YouTube friendly. YouTube monetization friendly trash talk. Yeah. One minute. Uh, extra points. For incorporating Jeep references. Oh. <laughs> That's unfair. All right. I'll even go first. Okay, Matt's going first. This Matt, not that Matt. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, start. All right, so I'm glad that you got the red Cherokee so when it breaks down, we can find you on the side of the road or on the side of the trail. And mm. most of that's because you went with quite possibly the worst rear axle ever put in any vehicle ever, the Dana 35. <laughs> And then a low pinion Zena 30 front, low pinion. That'll last maybe one run around the short course. Mm. And you got all this cushy interior, but there's so much weight. This hog's got to be what a couple hundred pounds heavier than a regular Cherokee. And you didn't do any kind of weight savings. Did you think you were coming here for a a, a car show or a race? Oh. oh!
<laughs> That's good. That was 40 seconds. So you even saved time. And he burned you pretty good. That was a couple <sighs> good burns in there. All right. Are we ready? There was a lot of truth in there. There was a, That was the worst part, though. <laughs> that, that was, was, that was, that was the truth talking. That yeah. was the truth talking. Like, I was expecting your Believe mama to you okay after that? You need a minute. Are you, are you gonna be okay? Now this this is gonna be hard for I'm Matt because he's got to he's got to tear down the vehicle that he loves, that he loves so much <laughs> that he daily drops. That he's like he's like. Do you want to say sorry to the truck before we start? I just want to go into it. We'll just go for it. All right, here we go. Ready? And three, two, one, go. Myrick, your razor seat is so nasty. Even a razor didn't want it. This inch and a half tube is so flimsy, it's gonna fold right in half on top of your head. I love turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> this hurts your soul to do, doesn't it? <laughs> Nothing about roll down windows. <clears throat> Nothing about you took a vehicle that I love and ruined it. So now I was gonna time, say. So now it's time to, to race. What's the first the race? race? Uh, that, that we need to decide on what we want to do. So, so basically the rules are, I pick the location, he picks the challenges. So whenever we get done, the next one, we're gonna go to Winrock and he's picking Winrock and then I pick the challenges. Okay, so, so you're picking the challenges. You've picked, now when you say location, you just mean this location. This location. Not the specific. Yeah, and then. No, the specific, I mean, like, like if he wants to do this obstacle, then yeah. I choose how we get the points on that. Okay, well, right. so we as judges have actually started our first challenge. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I saw that Matt, I saw that you brought a Tecton tool case yeah. with you. Okay, did you bring any Tecton tools? Yes. Okay, will you please get your Tecton tool case and meet us back here. Actually, get a Tecton tool case and meet us over here. Okay, perfect. All right, so place your place your Tecton tools down here on the ground. Are we, are we about to go race right now? You are about to go race, yeah. Well, well not, not officially race, but this is just going to be the start of it. Right. Uh, well, it's, you've, all, you've all seen Le Mans racing. Yeah. So this is your Le Mans start. So you have to leave here with your Tecton tools, run to your Jeep. Are we strapping in too? Yes, just like, well, just like, just like a race. You yeah. gotta get there, get the hood down. It's the first person to be strapped in and crank it? First person to pull away oh. and get to, where do you get, going on the short course, over there? Yeah. All right, first person to get there is the winner. Yeah. Okay, ready, set, go! Check them belts, check them belts. Oh. Oh. Go, go, go. What happened? My keys weren't even in. Somebody uh, set me up for failure. Keys aren't in it. Yeah. Keys not in it. <laughs> Rookie mistake. It's hard to win without keys. So we're going to Jack's? So how do you spell Le Mans? It's basically lemon, right? Yeah. L-E-M-A-N-S. No. M-A-N. A-N-S. Lee Mans. Lee Mans. It's French. All right, so Jack's Burger? Yeah. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Bang for the buck, Jeep Speed. Bang for the buck, Jeep Beach. Hammer down! Family friendly. Family YouTube friendly. YouTube monetization friendly trash talk. One minute. That never should have happened. I'm no. not sure what happened. Oh! And then one full bore, full send lap. See who's back. Modified rules. Why would we modify them? Because I couldn't reach the pedal on the passenger seat. <laughs>